freelancing for a while, but you're not sure if it's time to leave your day job and pursue freelancing full time. As someone who's been there, it's one of the scariest aspects of owning your business. And honestly, it's never going to be an easy decision to make. I had that decision made for me because I was fired from my position and had to go full time immediately with my freelance business. And in hindsight, it was a huge blessing because I tripled my revenue in the months that followed. Deciding whether or not it's appropriate for you to leave your full-time job and pursue freelancing involves thinking about a first a couple of different factors. So the first one is financial. Are you generating enough money on a monthly basis where you could replace or exceed your day job income? Now bear in mind that you'll also have to be paying for taxes, you'll have to pay for your health care and any other benefits that are provided by your position. However, you'll be able to cut back a little bit with some of the commuting expenses and probably are able to eat at home and have a reduced cost there as compared with going into the office and going out for lunch and things like that. So definitely you wanna have a financial cushion. In an ideal world, you'll have a couple of months saved up of expenses to make that transition easier for you. However, I've done it without any cushion at all, so it definitely is possible if you find yourself in that situation, but you have to be really diligent. So the first question you've gotta ask yourself is the financial one. Am I ready to do this? Am I ready to completely create my own paycheck? The next one is all about discipline. If you've been running your freelance business for some time, there's a good chance you already have the experience in being self-disciplined and meeting deadlines. It becomes even more important when you run your own business and you're the only breadwinner bringing home that bacon. So you must be able to be disciplined on a regular basis because a freelance business is tied to you generating revenue. And if you slack off or think that you can work one hour a day and generate what you were making at your day job, you're likely to find that that's gonna be a huge challenge and you're going to end up really frustrated and down about working for yourself. So that's the second thing to consider when contemplating whether or not you should leave your day job. The third thing to think about is how important to you is it to be around other people? For me, I didn't feel like I needed to have the coworker experience or be around someone all the time in order to feel fulfilled. I liked working by myself. I was in fact better working on projects when I was by myself. So that was the third way that I knew that I could make this happen. The fourth sign that you should start thinking about leaving your day job is if you are really getting aggravated at your day job. Perhaps in the past you just had general complaints or your coworkers got on your nerves every so often. But now that you see the potential with your freelance career, they're driving you completely crazy. The coworker next to you who hums all day now is grating on your nerves every minute of every day. Or perhaps you're sighing and feeling aggravated as you get out to go to work every single day. That's a sign that you're feeling more passionate about your freelance business and might do better off working for yourself. So something to keep in mind as you think about making that transition because it is lonely to be a freelancer and in particular a writer because you don't need to have a lot of phone calls on the books or a lot of meetings with clients. So you wanna be sure that you're comfortable with this slightly more isolated lifestyle. You might want to work from a public place a couple of times a week or join some networking groups, et cetera, in order to really start to push yourself out there and to get comfortable with it. And the final reason that it's time for you to leave your day job and pursue freelancing is because you're ready to take that next step. There's this inner knowing that comes with having built your business for some time, seeing income replicated month over month, and really feeling like you can make this work. And it's not something I can describe any clearer than that, but you'll know it when you feel it. You are no longer excited by your day job. You're willing to take that leap of faith and you're excited to see where you can go with freelancing. Now I've got some other videos and trainings about what to do if you want to stay in your day job and whether or not that's possible as well. So check that out. But if you're looking to scale, from doing this part-time to doing it full-time. It's completely possible. It was the best thing that ever happened to my business and I'm so grateful, uh, honestly, that I had that experience because it pushed me to expand my freelance business exponentially. I'd love to hear what questions you have about making the transition from freelancing part-time to full-time.